Hey, what's happening, guys? Jala, I'm in tech over here, uh, doing something a bit different here. Um, you know, well, my face in front of the camera instead of just the products. Uh, yeah, just trying this out, see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, so this is a follow-up review. Uh, so without any further ado, let's uh, dive right into it. Uh, and it's a follow-up review on the Amazfit T-Rex Pro, um, which uh, is a product that I've been using as my rugged uh, smartwatch. It's, uh, as you probably know or heard, it's uh, targeted to be a replacement or a smartwatch replacement for the G-Shock. So all of the G-Shock users, I wanna know what you think about this, if you ever tried it uh yeah i want to know your critics uh your thoughts and all that here are my thoughts uh as far as um you know what i think about this watch as my daily driver uh intense activity watch so intense by you know playing soccer with it uh going intense hiking um uh even diving with it uh and what my thoughts are but most importantly a follow-up review on um you know what Amazfit claim this watch can do and in a real world uh, what I experienced with it. I've taken it through different tests um, to try and see whether or not it lives up to what Amazfit promised. So let's dive into it. Um, so the watch is still in great shape. I've had it for four months. I've been in a lot of rugged uh, situations. It does hold up. Okay, so those 15 uh, different military grade uh, materials that were put in this watch to make it what it is, uh, did hold up. Okay, so that is true. Okay, um, the sensors, uh, they are pretty close to accurate. Uh, the blood uh, oxygen saturation sensor works great. Uh, I used it. Um, I also use the heart rate sensor, it's pretty close to accurate. I test uh, it uh, and compared it with my um, uh, my uh, waist uh, or chest uh, heart rate sensor rather, and it's pretty close to, and those are more accurate than the watches on the rest. So it works uh, pretty well, uh, pretty accurate. Uh, what do I like about the uh, user friendliness, um, the, you know, the software and all that? It's pretty standard, uh, nothing crazy different there, nothing super special, uh, um, but um, the screen is nice, uh, it's bright enough, uh, and you know, the user interface is pretty nice, um, so I haven't had any complaints on that at all. Um, and uh, you know, talking of the screen, um, the uh, scratch resistant coating that they have on the screen is pretty good. I've been in certain situations uh, where I went against a rock or something like this, mildly, uh, or some bushes, and it held up. No scratches on it for four months now. I have not had no scratches on it, so that's pretty cool as far as the screen uh, goes. But also, there's this bezel right here that is projected up, so that protects uh, uh, it as well and give it more scratch resistance. Um, obviously, because then there's um, not direct impact onto the screen, which is pretty good. Uh, I like um, the straps. They're pretty good. Uh, it's really nice uh, finish. Uh, it's holding up uh, pretty well. Very flexible as well. Um, really good. The buttons feel good. Uh, yeah, so, so far, I like a lot of uh, good things about this watch. Uh, things that I would potentially change, however, as far as the material, maybe uh, some uh, metal finish uh, will just give it a bit of a, uh, a quality feel. Uh, however, you know, all depends. That's all, per, um, you know, a personal thing uh, because also what they're looking for is to build a rugged watch, simple, nothing fancy. So this would do the job as far as that goes. So you just have, it all comes down to, you know, uh, you get it for what it is uh, and not try to change it for what you want it to be, okay? All right, so, but most importantly, let's talk about the battery life because that's where I feel like um, is misadvertised. Um, 
Amazfit claims 18 days of normal use. To be honest with you, the reason why I haven't gone with a lot of smartwatches out there like the Apple Watch and other watches is because I personally, and this is just personal preference, I want a smartwatch that I don't have to charge every single day. Okay, I don't want it to be tethered to the charger. I had a uh, Garmin Vivo Active was my first smartwatch. I love that watch, still rocking it actually. It's been almost eight years and I'm still using it. It still gives me, when I first had it, it would give me up to 14 days on a single charge. Now I get like uh, a week out of it, which is pretty amazing still eight years later compared to a lot of smartwatches. So uh, shout out to John, uh, Garmin for that. I uh, wanted to branch off, uh, try something different, but I also love, I'm a lover of G-Shock watches. Um, also a lot of watches that I have um, and a lot of smart watches out there in the market are not as rugged as you know they should be. And if you're a very rough person or you do go through a lot of rough um, uh, train activities, it's gonna be hard uh, for you to, uh, for those watches to keep up. Hence this, so this is why I came to, um, you know, the T-Rex Pro. Okay, I'm a Fit T-Rex Pro. Uh, swimming is great. I've taken it for swimming as well. But yes, yeah, so coming back to the things that are not as promised, the battery life is not as promised. And I repeat, uh, in real world, um, I've used this on normal. Um, you know, I had the uh, screen not on, not on the always display mode. And I would get close to, uh, you know, six, seven days normal use with the screen off okay automatically always on i get like four days solid uh and then if i get five, uh, five days i am lucky and that's on normal use just mild notifications on my wrist uh no activity just walking okay so no normal use you do not get 18 days i have not gotten 18 days on this even with the screen uh, uh, they always display on off. It's not true. You don't get, or maybe this is a lemon. I don't know. It didn't seem like it didn't feel like it. Uh, it still does not, but I do not get 18 days out of this on normal use. I get uh, close to seven days normal use, uh, with the always, uh, on display turned off with it turned on. I get like four solid days, sometimes five when I'm lucky. All right, this is normal use, no running, no sports activities activated, activated, excuse me, only um, the walk uh, steps tracker on. I get four solid days with always on display, um, um, sometimes five, um, and with the always on display off, um, I will get like close to seven days, six solid days, seven day stops. Okay, that's still pretty impressive uh, compared to uh, a lot of the competition out there that are twice more expensive. Um, so it's still, you know, if you have it, you'd still have a very solid, very strong activity watch, uh, especially if you're a lover of G-Shock or in most of the times you're a lover of G-Shock because of its, um, its toughness, how, how rugged it is. So if that's your uh, thing, and you're looking for a watch, this is certainly the best in the market for that. Um, if you're also looking for a watch where you're not going to spend a whole lot of money, uh, but also you get best for the uh, for your money, the best bang for your uh, bucks, um, and you don't want to charge every single day, it still will be the watch for you, uh, where you have all of the features that are out there in um, uh, big uh, name brand uh, watches then it's still the watch for you. So finally, let's take a close up look at the watch. This is after four months of use. Uh, I had a quick unboxing of the watch when I just got it. So this is what it looks like. I'm just showing you closely here. All right. It's got four buttons, but it's also a uh, touch screen. It's got a touch screen display. So you got the up, down button, you got back, and you got select, right? So these are the buttons right there. I think yeah, it has pretty decent uh, analog uh, watch faces. 
I have a thing for white faces that look close to realistic. So when they're on, you can almost feel like they're um, real, like um, just, you know, classic analog watch. It's not digital, um, but it's not, it's close to it, but it's not exactly that. So uh, I, uh, those are the times that I wish like, uh, I had like the Samsung smartwatches or the LG uh, uh, smartwatches. Uh, rest in peace uh, to the LG smartwatches. But um, yeah. And, but yeah, so you get those though, you get the display that you want, but then you only have a day uh, or two, if that, of charge. So, you know, I would go with this rather than that, that's for sure. So what do I think about the watch? Do I really like it? Uh, did I regret getting it? No, I, I did not regret getting it. I, I like it a lot. I was skeptical about the battery, uh, what they claimed the 18 days. It would have been a blast. I would have loved it. Uh, loved it if uh, the battery did go 18 days um, but I was skeptical because uh, an AMOLED display and getting 18 days out of that I was very skeptical and I was not wrong I still get for still I, I always have mine on always on display uh, I don't kind of I don't believe in watches that are off and you only turn them on when you turn I, I I'm not a fan of that so I always have mine on always on display so you can tell I'm kind of a fan of like Binding the two worlds, classic watch and smart watch, sort of like in the middle. Anyway, yes, so I like it. Um, it would be nice if the battery goes like my old Garmin um, or get at least two weeks onto it, but I still like it over a lot of the more expensive brands out there that only last for a day or two. So that are uh, my thoughts on the uh, Amazfit uh, Turex Pro. Um, yeah, so I hope this is helpful. It helps you make your decisions. Once again, this is Jalam in Tech. Peace.